in Dobronik, all fun, good times, and good food. <laughs> and good friends. Let's go. This is a starter to our breakfast. <laughs> they were literally like, this is something to munch on until your breakfast arrives. <laughs> You're speaking my language. <laughs> I've gotten my plate of food, and I'm slightly disappointed. It is very minimalistic. And I do not like that look on my plate. Hers looks so much better. We are gonna be in Dubrovnik for five days. We have a, every day completely planned out to see the most out of Dubrovnik. And we're gonna take you to all the greatest attractions Dubrovnik has to offer. And restaurants. And restaurants, because good food. And then in five days, we're flying to America, baby. <gasps> What, are you, what happened? Broccoli <laughs> sauce! <laughs> oh, <laughs> Starting God. counting. Um, and then we're going to America. America. Viva la America! If they let me America. in the country. <laughs> wow. I've never seen an orange tree before. In the city center. Yeah. And this is where you enter the old town walls. And then you walk all around. During the construction of one of the fortresses, there was a shortage of stone. So it was ordered that anybody coming to Dubrovnik from Gruz or Ploče was obliged to carry the stone if they wanted to enter the city. Margi is taking me to a coffee shop that is supposed to be on the rocks. And this is the entrance here. It looks like a metal gate. <laughs> It's called Buja. Buja, so, which means a hole in Croatia. Okay. She wants me to film my reaction. Wow. <laughs> but don't be fake. <laughs> I'm not fake. You call it fake. You see that it's like a little, little hole. Yes. It's a Buja. All right, let's go. Wow. Oh my god, look at the look at the sea. It's right. completely open. We're definitely coming here yeah. tomorrow. <laughs> this is working from home 2021 edition. <laughs> We're going to Banya Beach, which is a public beach. <laughs> what you just heard was Margi falling down the stairs. <laughs> Going to Banya Beach, which is a public beach in Dubrovnik and the most famous one. Oh, that looks good. It's not too sunny, but it is really warm, except it's a bit windy. So it's a perfect day, really, to suntan. Check this out. I have never seen this technology. This is new technology to put your sunscreen on like the back. Like right yeah. <laughs> she knew she couldn't count on her friends. <laughs> we have just had a really good day at the beach. <laughs> the, cold, the sea was really cold, to be honest. And there were Americans right next to us constantly saying how cold it was and that they're getting hypothermia. It was not that cold. <laughs> it's around 7 p.m. We have gotten ready to go have dinner at this pupa restaurant that has this amazing truffle dish we're gonna try. Meanwhile, my new vlog is rendering on my very slow laptop and very old laptop, but um, we're gonna leave it and then we're gonna enjoy this beautiful city. I am very sporty dressed because I like sports stuff, but Margi. And I also like Hello. sports stuff. Hello. Hello. It's sponsored by my mom, all of it. Oh, <laughs> this is her mom's shirt. And really this is my mom's skirt. Oh, really? As yeah. well? Oh, cute. Yeah. And she's rocking high heels today. Yeah, super high heels. <laughs> unlike, unlike me, you can always high. buy me in sneakers. Sky high. Let's go! Back up. Take him away, do 
going down. Walking fast and homebound. <laughs> -na 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 -na. Walk nicely so I can do a B roll with cute music here. <laughs> <laughs> She's having travarica, which is rakia made of wheat. Da. <laughs> I'm having rakia that's made of honey and it's really sweet. It's kind of like a tequila with honey and She's having the one that's made with wheat. Yeah. Lots Cheers, of babe. Tintin. <laughs> oh, matere. <laughs> oh my god. Our first dish of the day is tempura prawns with the ch sweet chili sauce and soy sauce. Yay! I love these. Yummy. You excited? I'm excited. <laughs> this is our second meal. It's Fuji, which the is a type <laughs> of Dalmatian pasta with duck breast and truffles, but black truffle. You know it's a really quality restaurant when you actually get a piece of black truffle. For everyone who doesn't know how black truffle looks like, <laughs> This is how it looks like. And he's eating it regularly. <laughs> it's completely black on the outside, like this. But when you cut it on the inside, it's, it's like that. And this, usually, when you get it, you get it shaved off like that. I'm a truffle expert, so I can see anything. <laughs> so Margi says that there's usually loads more people in Dubrovnik in like non-COVID time. Wow. I just hit someone. <laughs> you see those guys? Mm. Yeah, she says usually there is a lot more people in Dubrovnik. Like this main street called Stradun would usually be packed and you couldn't even walk. Um, but I still find that this is quite a lot of people. Let me show you. It's definitely lively. No, it's day two in Dubrovnik and today we decided to actually show you some of the city. <laughs> Picking off, this is our first location. Um, for all of my Game of Thrones fans, I am a huge fan. And this is the location number one, right? This one. This is where one citizen of King's Landing he had a speech where he was talking against the crown. They wanted to remove the king or whatever. So this was the place where they used to do that. Transporting Dubrovnik. <laughs> Approaching the second location. Anyone familiar with this? <laughs> or anyone familiar with this scene? Shame. <laughs> These are the stairs where Cersei had to walk naked all the way from down there to there in the background they would edit a huge castle which would be King King's Landing so she had to walk all the and all of this was filled with um, extras and people who are from Dubrovnik which is cool ah! <laughs> yes so they hired a lot of local extras and in CGI, they put a huge church right over there. Instead of that building, it was a huge church right there. And if we come over here, this is where Cersei was standing before she started going down there. This was filled with extras and the King's Landing was down there. Cool. We're off to a brothel, my my <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Maybe we see a little finger over there. <laughs> we found it. There's a scene where Tyrion and I think 
little finger are walking through this tunnel and on these stairs on the left i think that is the brothel ah. in real life it's a museum we found like it looks abandoned or is it a really old building Tirok, what is that that looks scary Oh, it's a little kid. Wow. Ah, maybe they're filming a movie here. And these are people touring the walls of the Bronik. Hi! <laughs> We're off to explore the walls of the old town, the walls of the Bronik. Oh, there it is. No, we can't. <laughs> we sort of got lost. And because this is such a labyrinth, you can't find a way in or way out. Main streets have a better stone, a new stone. It's not the slippery one, like the old one. Yeah. And she keeps falling down the stairs. And I keep getting heart attacks because of it. <laughs> Remember the orange tree from yesterday? Underneath the orange trees where you buy tickets to go on the city walls. Eek. Okay. So we're climbing up to the stairs now to get to the walls. Mark, <laughs> she's gonna kill me. Uh, we bought two tickets. So a ticket for an adult is 200 kunas and you can only buy in kunas or with a credit card. Oh my God, I'm dying. But she has her old student card. So we only paid 50 kunas for one ticket. Nailed it. Holy moly. So we walked here yesterday where I was showing you the nightlife of Dubrovnik. This is the main street, it's called Stradun. There we go. Another Game of Thrones location. Do you recognize this little dock? This is where Sansa used to stand thinking being all important on this dock and this is Black Bay Water or something like this. So it would be, hold on. So you would be standing there and the view was over there. Fuck! Look at all those oranges. What a waste of oranges. Poor oranges, no one's gonna eat them. <sighs> I am defeated. We, um, at the end of our tour, oh, look at that view, come on. Right. We are at the end of the tour, not a tour, just walking along the city walls. And this is the last of stairs we're gonna climb. And we have climbed a lot of stairs today. So remember yesterday when I was saying that everyone who was arriving to Dubrovnik had to bring a stone for the fortress Minchita? This, that's that fortress that we're climbing on right now. Fuck, I'm dying. <sighs> We've made it. Stones that arrived from Ploche and what else did I say? I don't know. But there you go. So Mincheta Tower is actually where Daenerys was uh, trying to find her dragons when someone stole them from her, from her. And she stood in front of it and she was like, is this a riddle? <laughs> because there is no doors. Yeah, she was standing right here. In front of this hole? Yes. Is this a riddle? She was standing right here. <laughs> you tell him, Daenerys. Oh, would you stay till the morning light? Oh, would you follow me? And on this island, there is a restaurant called Boa. <laughs> oh, would you let it be? If I leave tonight, we could do this right. Find the remedy, or would you stay with me now? It was the last flight for Chicago for today, and it's gone. Gone! Till the morning light, or would you stay till the morning 